So the next thing that happened on AEW Rampage, it was the main event. It was Christian Cage versus Ethan Page in a qualifying match. So yeah, winner of this match goes to the ladder match at AEW Revolution. And it was a pretty good match between these two guys. At one point, we see Ethan Page trying I think he calls it uh, Ego's Edge or something like that, his finisher move. When he picks him up on the shoulders, pretty much about to hit like the razor's edge onto him. Uh, like he lifts him up on the shoulders, that position. But then Christian Cage reversed it and hits a spear at one point. Almost getting a three count, but he kicked out. And then Ethan Page tried to hit it again in this match one more time. But then Christian Cage reversed that and then hits the kill switch onto him. Pinning him for three counts. So yeah, Christian Cage defeated Ethan Page tonight. So yeah, uh, Christian Cage has qualified for that ladder match. At AEW Revolution this Sunday. So yeah. Uh, that's what happened. It was a pretty good match though. Ethan Page is doing pretty good in this match. I'll give that match. Um, I'll give it two stars. That's what I'll give it. So yeah. Pretty good match between the two. So yeah. I'll give it two out of five stars. So yeah. Pretty good match between the two. And then after the match ended. We seen uh, the AEW World Tag Team Champions. Uh, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. Come down to the ring celebrating with Christian Cage uh, for his win and all that. And then we seen uh, the Young Bucks and Red Dragon come out. And pretty much they act like they was going to go in there and attack Luchasaurus and them. But then uh, instead they grabbed the tag team titles. So yeah, the Young Bucks grabbed one one of the tag titles. And the Red Dragon grabbed the other tag title. And then of course they started arguing outside of the ring. Talking about how they're each going to become the world tag team champions and all that. And then uh, while they was arguing... Jungle Boy dives over the top rope with a front flip onto uh, the Young Bucks and Red Dragon, taking them out. Uh, and then they grab uh, the World Tag Team titles, Luchasaurus says. So, yeah, uh, that's what happened. So, yeah, uh, like I said, I'll give the match and what happened after the match two stars as well. I'll give it pretty good stuff. But for tonight's AEW Rampage show, I'll give a, um, out of five, I'll give it a three. So, yeah, I'll give it three stars. Uh, the Serena Deed match was alright, uh, it was whatever, but it was great to see Hikaru Shida returning and stuff. Christian Cage versus Ethan Page was a pretty good match. Keith Lee's match was okay. Eric Redbeard debuting was pretty good, and that triple threat match with the TNT Championship was great as well. So yeah, like I said, I'll give, yeah, I'll give it three and a half stars, that's why I'll give it, it was a pretty good show. But yeah, that has been my AEW Rampage, um, uh, March 4th, 2022 reviews. Like, subscribe, subscribe to Team WS and on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, World of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Bales, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, it'll all be down there in the description box, and yeah, that has been my Rampage reviews, I'll be doing my AEW Revolution 2022 reviews this Sunday, so yeah, look out for that, and I'll probably be doing the predictions on that show tomorrow, so yeah, look out for that as well, and yeah, then we're going to be continuing back around to Monday Night Raw and stuff heading up to WrestleMania. So, yeah, look out for all that good stuff on the channel um, later on. So, yeah, uh, like I said, subscribe and all that, and I'll see you guys later.